Welcome to this XR template tutorial lesson number 40. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the existing elements within a website template that comes with the XR software. And in this case, unlike the previous tutorial, we're going to actually open up a blank new document because we're only using existing elements from that from an existing uh, website template. We're not actually using the full uh, website template page. So let's go ahead and start a blank new document in the XR Web Designer 7 Premium software. Once you start your blank new document, let's go ahead and go to our designs gallery just like before. And let's go ahead and lock that panel. And once you lock that panel, let's again look for the website themes folder. And once you find the website themes folder, let's left click on that. And we're going to again go to the alpha theme folder. So left click on that should be the first folder. And once you left click on that, we're going to scroll through and scroll down. And then you'll see some things that are not a full website page. As you can see at the top, we have full web website pages. As you can see, the thumbnails here show that that it's a website page. But as you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that we have buttons. We have a button here called button, and it'll say button text for that particular button. We have a stretchy button. We have all kinds of elements that we can use to kind of make up our own custom design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the photo pop-up thumbnail. And you should see this somewhere near to the bottom near your first color scheme. And when you find this particular thumbnail called photo pop-up 2, you'll left click and drag that into your workspace. So that's one of the elements I'm going to use in my particular design. You can kind of make this up however you want. I'm just showing you that you can build a custom design simply by using existing elements within a website theme template in the Xara software. And the next thing I'm going to add, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to add in a navigation menu bar. In this case, a horizontal navigation menu bar. And you should be able to find this again in your in your folder if you scroll up and it's near I would look for this big download button that says download now it's right beneath that and it, it may not be in that exact order but usually the program keeps things consistently in the same order so you should see this horizontal navigation menu bar uh, within your your uh, website existing template folder so drag that into your workspace and now you'll see, you'll see that you have a horizontal navigation menu bar and if you double left click on that it'll bring up the navigation bar properties and once you bring up the navigation bar properties just like before in the previous tutorial I showed you how to add new buttons if you double click the add to button it'll add a new button as you can see in our workspace here it added that new button in addition to button text 1, button text 2, button text 3 you've got this new button here if you double click again it'll add another boot new button so you'll see now that we have two new buttons uh, in our navigation menu bar so I'm going to hit OK and complete that process and drag this kind of in the center of the page and now we've kind of got a photo pop-up presentation we have got a navigation menu bar and the next thing I'm going to do is add some text so go to your toolbar left click on text tool and we're going to drag and create a text area and I'm going to tell you how to add in fictitious uh, text. I'm not sure if I told you how to do this yet. And then just in case, I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. To add fictitious text, you will hit Control. And you're going to hold, hold each of these keys. You're going to hold Control, Shift, and then hit L, the L key. And when you do that, it's going to paste fictitious data. And I'm going to do that one more time. Hold, contri hold Control, then Shift. And while you're holding down the control and shift key, press the L key once. And then you can let go of the, the control and shift key after you've done that. And so that's how you add fictitious data. And I'm going to adjust this text area. And again, you should know how to do this if you followed some of my previous tutorials. And what I like to do is sometimes if I see that there's too much text there, I'll delete it. And then I'll space out the, uh, the paragraphs. And one of the ways you can do that is to go up to your... Uh, bar up here where it says line spacing for the percentage and you increase that line spacing by clicking the up arrow and I like to have mines around a, 
125 you can set it wherever you want to but I'm gonna leave it at about 125 and I'm also gonna change the color of this text and again this is stuff that you should already know if you watch some of the previous tutorials so I'll change the text and now we've kinda of got a decent site here that we built using strictly just the elements of an existing website template and you can do this for any website template if you wanted to go to a different website template like audio theme if you scroll down and this is by the way this is just the second folder right after the alpha theme folder so if you went to audio theme when you scroll down you'd see again that they have different elements that you could use maybe you wanted to use this deck and I'm not gonna match it in this case It's asking me if I want to match the colors and again this is something that I've covered in previous tutorials but in this case I don't want to match it I want it to contain its original colors and you can add in that if you wanted to into your workspace so you can use any any existing elements from any website template um, for your website and you can kinda create your own neat design using existing website template elements so I hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to do that uh, there is one thing I do want to show you in terms of how to edit this photo pop-up uh, image that we have here and I'm gonna move it around so you can see like all the components that are a part of this uh, particular photo pop-up template so let's go ahead and and close this uh, designs gallery and then let's go to the page and layer gallery and I'm gonna lock that panel and once we lock that panel I'm gonna go all the way up to the top so we can see the original page here and I am going to close some of these uh, folders and one way you can do that is actually just close the whole thing if you want it but we actually need to see uh, the elements for this particular photo gallery so I want you to close I know this is a pain but close all of these uh, arrows and the way you close them is just simply by clicking on them and it will close all of those uh, folders and this is closing it so that you don't see all the layer objects at once and now what you'll see is that we have alpha slide 1, alpha slide 2, alpha slide 3, alpha slide 4 and if you unhide any of these elements it will show you certain stuff in your document so like if I change this one alpha slide 2 you'll be able to see that it changes the image on the photo slider and so let's go ahead and go in solo mode and now you'll see that you can see the image for alpha slide one and if you want to you can change any of this text let's just say let's call it whatever you want let's say this and I spelled that wrong this is an Xara tutorial and then I'm gonna hit use my selection tool to deselect that and then if we go ahead and turn off solo mode if we go to file preview website and we go to let's see which one is it under if we click on number one you'll see it says this is an XR tutorial because we changed that Pacific layer and that was for alpha one and if you change any of those you know the text or the photos on any of those layers it's going to reflect in your photo slider so let me show you that one more time if you go to alpha one in your page and layers gallery and go to solo mode you'll see that this is the text that we changed if we wanted to go to alpha slide 2 you would see that it shows that bar graph that we saw and the preview when we previewed the website and again you can change any of these elements however you like if I wanted to say this is 2012 cells because it's the year 2012 I could add that in and it would say 2012 when we go to the preview mode to preview the website so if we go to alpha slide number three and click solo mode you'll see that there's a picture there and if you were to drag in a photo on top of this it would replace that one just like in previous tutorials and it will reflect that in your when you preview your website so I'm gonna go ahead and go out of solo mode and let's go ahead again and preview the website I'm going to file preview website and if you click through your different uh, images by clicking on these number buttons you'll see that on slide number two it now says 2012 sales instead of 2010 sales so I hope that helps you to understand how to use uh, existing website elements to create your own custom design 
And if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me on YouTube and ask me questions. Or you can also request to, to have me make a different tutorial uh, by sending me a message. And don't forget also to subscribe. Give us a feedback such as comments, thumbs ups, or, or sharing our video or embedding our video. Uh, because that information will be very helpful in helping me to understand if these videos are helpful. And I'm, I apologize if you couldn't follow along. I know I did that, you know, I did this tutorial really quickly. But it's because a lot of this stuff is stuff I've covered in previous tutorials. So I figure most people will be able to follow along. So thanks again for viewing this tutorial. And I hope that you stay tuned for future design tutorials. Have a great day. Yeah.